French orthography encompasses the spelling and punctuation of the French language. It is based on a combination of phonemic and historical principles. The spelling of words is largely based on the pronunciation of Old French c. 1100 to 1200 CE and has stayed more or less the same since then, despite enormous changes to the pronunciation of the language in the intervening years. This has resulted in a complicated relationship between spelling and sound, especially for vowels, a multitude of silent letters, and a large number of homophones, e.g., saint, sign, sane, saying, sains, sen, all pronounced s, sang, sans, sent, all pronounced s. Later attempts to respell some words in accordance with their Latin etymologies further increased the number of silent letters, e.g., temps versus older tens, compare English tense which reflects the original spelling, and vinct versus older vint. Nevertheless, there are rules governing French orthography which allow for a reasonable degree of accuracy when pronouncing French words from their written forms. The reverse operation, producing written forms from a pronunciation, is much more ambiguous. <laughs> <laughs> Alphabet The French alphabet is based on the 26 letters of the Latin alphabet, uppercase and lowercase, with five diacritics and two orthographic ligatures. The letters W and K are rarely used except in loanwords and regional words. The phoneme, with sound is usually written O, the K, sound is usually written C anywhere but before E, I, Y, Q before E, I, Y, and sometimes K at the ends of words. However, K is common in the metric prefix kilo originally from Greek chilia kilia, a thousand, kilogram, kilometer, kilowatt, kilohertz, etc. Topic diacritics The usual diacritics are the acute, accent aigu, the grave, backquote, accent grave, the circumflex, accent circonflex, the diaresis, trema, and the cedilla, cedile. Diacritics have no effect on the primary alphabetical order. Acute accent or accent aigu a, over e, indicates uniquely the sound, e. An a in modern French is often used where a combination of e and a consonant, usually s, would have been used formerly, acuter grave accent or accent grave a, e, u, over a or u, used primarily to distinguish homophones, a to versus a has, o or versus o where, the letter u is used only in this word. Over an e, indicates the sound, Circumflex or accent circonflex a, e, I, o, u, over a, e and o, indicates the sound and o, respectively, but the distinction a, a, versus a, tends to disappear in Parisian French, so they are both pronounced a. In Belgian French, e is pronounced. Most often, it indicates the historical deletion of an adjacent letter usually an s or a vowel, chateau s and the tilde for n are examples. It has also come to be used to distinguish homophones, do of the versus do past participle of devar to have to do something pertaining to an act, however do is in fact written thus because of a dropped e, deu see circumflex in French. Since the 1990 orthographic changes, the circumflex on most i's and u's may be dropped when it does not serve to distinguish homophones, chain becomes chain but sir sure does not change because of sir on. Diaresis or trema e, I, U, y, over e, I, U or y, indicates that a vowel is to be pronounced separately from the preceding one, naive, noel. A diaresis on y only occurs in some proper names and in modern editions of Old French texts. Some proper names in which y appears include I commune in Canton de la Marne, formerly I Champagne, Rue des Clois alley in the 18th arrondissement of Paris, Croy family name and hotel on the boulevard Raspail, Paris, Château du Fay near Joigny, Guise name of Flemish origin spelt Guise where I in handwriting looked like y to French clerks, La Haye Les Roses commune between Paris and Orly Airport, Pierre Laouis author, Moy place in commune de Laine and family name, and Le Blanc de Nicolet an insurance company in eastern France. The diaresis on U appears in the biblical proper names Archelaus, Cafamaum, Emmaus, Esau, and Saul, as well as French names such as Howie. Nevertheless, since the 1990 orthographic changes, the diaresis in words containing gu such as agu or sigu may be moved onto the U, agu, sigu, and by analogy may be used in verbs such as jagu. In addition, words coming from German retain their umlaut a, o and u if applicable but use French pronunciation, such as karcher trademark of a pressure washer. Cedilla or cedile c, under c, indicates that it is pronounced s, rather than k. 
Thus, je lance I throw with C equals S before E. Je lance I was throwing C would be pronounced K before A without the cedilla. The cedilla is only used before the vowels A, O, or U, for example, ka, sa, it is never used before the vowels E, I, or Y, since these three vowels always produce a soft S sound C -E -C cycle. The tilde diacritical mark above N is occasionally used in French for words and names of Spanish origin that have been incorporated into the language, e.g., cañon, el niño. Like the other diacritics, the tilde has no impact on the primary alphabetical order. Diacritics are often omitted on capital letters, mainly for technical reasons. It is widely believed that they are not required, however both the Académie Française and the Office Québécois de la langue française reject this usage and confirm that, in French, the accent has full orthographic value, except for acronyms but not for abbreviations e.g., C, Elena, but A, U. Nevertheless, diacritics are often ignored in word games, including crosswords, Scrabble, and des chiffres et des lettres. <laughs> ligatures The two ligatures O and A have orthographic value. For determining alphabetical order, these ligatures are treated like the sequences O and A. Topic O French O E dans lo or O E calles lies. This ligature is a mandatory contraction of O in certain words. Some of these are native French words with the pronunciation O or O, e.g., sir, sister, so ouvre, work of art, oeuvre. Note that it usually appears in the combination u oi i is an exception. Many of these words were originally written with the digraph eu. The o in the ligature represents a sometimes artificial attempt to imitate the Latin spelling, Latin bovum, Old French buef, buf greater than modern French buff. O is also used in words of Greek origin, as the Latin rendering of the Greek diphthong oi, e.g., coelacanth, coelacanth. These words used to be pronounced with the vowel e, but in recent years a spelling pronunciation with o has taken hold, e.g., esophage, ezifa, or osfa, edipi, edip, or odip, etc. The pronunciation with e is often seen to be more correct. When o is found after the letter c, the c can be pronounced k, in some cases ker, or s, in others silicon. The ligature o is not used when both letters contribute different sounds. For example, when o is part of a prefix coexister, or when e is part of a suffix minoan, or in the word mole and its derivatives. Topic A. French a e dans la or a e calles lies. This ligature is rare, appearing only in some words of Latin and Greek origin like tinea, ex aequo, secum, ethus, as named dogs parsley. It generally represents the vowel e, like e acute. The sequence a appears in loanwords where both sounds are heard, as in maestro and paella. Topic: <laughs> Digraphs and trigraphs. French digraphs and trigraphs have both historical and phonological origins. In the first case, it is a vestige of the spelling in the word's original language usually Latin or Greek maintained in modern French, for example, the use of ph in words like téléphone, th in words like théorème, or ch in chaotique. In the second case, a digraph is due to an archaic pronunciation, such as eu, o, oi, i, and u, or is merely a convenient way to expand the 26-letter alphabet to cover all relevant phonemes, as in ch, on, and o, un, and in. Some cases are a mixture of these or are used for purely pragmatic reasons, such as ge for in il mange he ate, where the e serves to indicate a soft g inherent in the verb's root. Topic: <laughs> Sound to spelling correspondences. Topic. <laughs> Consonants and combinations of consonant letters <laughs> Vowels and combinations of vowel letters
Topic: <laughs> Combinations of vowel and consonant letters. Carat 1 these combinations are pronounced j after a e e u o o and u all but the last of which are pronounced normally and are not influenced by the i for example in rail the a is pronounced a in muller the o is pronounced u u however which only occurs in such combinations after c and g is pronounced o as opposed to orgel quayer acul etc these combinations are never pronounced j after o or u except yule, which is i, agule, g lay. In that case, the vowel plus i combination as well as the l is pronounced normally, although as usual, the pronunciation of u after g and q is somewhat unpredictable, poil, wheel, equilibre, ecolib, but equilateral, etc. Topic. <laughs> <laughs> Words from Greek The spelling of French words of Greek origin is complicated by a number of digraphs which originated in the Latin transcriptions. The digraphs ph, th, and ch normally represent f, t, and k, in Greek loanwords, respectively, and the ligatures ash and in Greek loanwords represent the same vowel as e acute, e. Further, many words in the international scientific vocabulary were constructed in French from Greek roots and have kept their digraphs, e.g., stratosphere, photography. History The Oaths of Strasbourg from 842 is the earliest text written in the early form of French called Romance or Gallo-Romance. Roman The Gaulish language of the inhabitants of Gaul disappeared progressively over the course of the Roman conquest as the Latin languages began to replace them, written classical Latin and spoken vulgar Latin. Classical Latin, taught in schools, remained the language of religious services, of scientific works, of legislative acts and of certain literary works. Vulgar Latin, spoken by the Roman soldiers and merchants, and adopted by the natives, evolved slowly, taking the forms of different spoken Roman vernaculars according to the region of the country. These vernaculars divided into two branches in the Gallo-Romance language family, the Longs d'Oil north of the Loire and the Longs d'Oc in the south. <laughs> Old French In the 9th century, the Romance vernaculars were already quite far from Latin. For example, to understand the Bible, written in Latin, footnotes were necessary. With consolidation of royal power, beginning in the 13th century, the Francian vernacular, in usage then on the Ile de France, brought it little by little to the other languages and evolved toward classic French. The languages found in the manuscripts dating from the 9th century to the 13th century form what is known as Old French or Ancient Francais. These languages continued to evolve until, in the 14th century to the 16th century, Middle French Moyen Francais emerged. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Middle French. During the Middle French period, c. 1300 to 1600, modern spelling practices were largely established. This happened especially during the 16th century, under the influence of printers. The overall trend was towards continuity with Old French spelling, although some changes were made under the influence of changed pronunciation habits, for example, the Old French distinction between the diphthongs EU and U was eliminated in favor of consistent EU, as both diphthongs had come to be pronounced O, or O, depending on the surrounding sounds. However, many other distinctions that had become equally superfluous were maintained, e.g. between S and soft C or between I and A. It is likely that etymology was the guiding factor here. The distinctions s, c, and i, a reflect corresponding distinctions in the spelling of the underlying Latin words, whereas no such distinction exists in the case of eu, u. This period also saw the development of some explicitly etymological spellings, e.g., temps, time, vinct, twenty, and poids, weight. Note that in many cases, the etymologizing was sloppy or occasionally completely incorrect. Vinct reflects Latin vigenti, with the g in the wrong place, and poids actually reflects Latin pensum, with no d at all. The spelling poids is due to an incorrect derivation from Latin pondus. 
The trend towards etymologizing sometimes produced absurd and generally rejected spellings such as scapvoir for normal savoir, to know, which attempted to combine Latin sapere, to be wise, the correct origin of savoir with sire, to know. Topic Classical French Modern French spelling was codified in the late 17th century by the Académie Française, based largely on previously established spelling conventions. Some reforms have occurred since then, but most have been fairly minor. The most significant changes have been, adoption of J and V to represent consonants, in place of former I and U. Addition of a circumflex accent to reflect historical vowel length. During the Middle French period, a distinction developed between long and short vowels, with long vowels largely stemming from a lost s before a consonant, as in meme cf. Spanish mismo, but sometimes from the coalescence of similar vowels, as in age from earlier age, e a g e. Early Old French asterisk edge use of i in place of oi where pronounced rather than wa. The most significant effect of this was to change the spelling of all imperfect verbs formerly spelled oi-s, oit, oyant rather than ice, eight, iant, as well as the name of the language, from François to Français. <laughs> Modern French In October 1989, Michel Rocard, then Prime Minister of France, established the High Council of the French Language Conseil Supérieur de la Langue Française in Paris. He designated experts—among them linguists, representatives of the Académie Française and lexicographers—to propose standardizing several points, a few of those points being the uniting hyphen in all compound numeral c, e, trente et unt plural of compound words, the second element of which always takes the plural sfor example un après midi, de après midis the circumflex accent disappears on all u's and i's except for words in which it is needed for differentiation as in coup cost, coup, abeam abyss, abeam but sir shore, because of sir on the past participle of lesse followed by an infinitive verb as invariable now works the same way as the verb fair l Laissez mourir l cest laissez mourir quickly, the experts set to work. Their conclusions were submitted to Belgian and Quebecois linguistic political organizations. They were likewise submitted to the Académie Française, which endorsed them unanimously, saying, Current orthography remains that of usage, and the recommendations of the High Council of the French language only enter into play with words that may be written in a different manner without being considered as incorrect or as false. The changes were published in the Journal Officiel de la République Française in December 1990. At the time the proposed changes were considered to be suggestions. In 2016, schoolbooks in France began to use the newer recommended spellings, with instruction to teachers that both old and new spellings be deemed correct. <laughs> Punctuation In France, the exclamation mark, question mark, semicolon, colon, percentage mark, currency symbols, hash, the guillemet all require a non-breaking space before and after the punctuation mark. Outside of France, this rule is often ignored. Computer software may aid or hinder the application of this rule, depending on the degree of localization, as it is marked differently from most other Western punctuation. See also Punctuation in French Elision French French phonology French braille French manual alphabet Circumflex in French Notes <laughs>